Hi guys, just a quick one. Um, been working on the van for a few days doing little bits and pieces. Um, I've got the holes out in the floor for my shower tray. I'm having um, on the shower tray there's two uh, drainage holes, so I thought, well, I might as well utilise both of them just in case um, the van ain't quite level. So if I do use the shower, all the wipes in the shower. Um, we're not going to get water pooling and also I decided to fit a 12 volt um, extractor fan in the um, car going past in the shower um, now the one I purchased was because uh, I've got loads of solar up on the roof I didn't want a, uh, a mushroom down type or a, a roof light with a with a fan um, so I purchased a, a small fan off uh, that well-known site, eBay. Um, there's quite a few on there. Um, they're all shipped from a, basically a UK warehouse. There are some that are shipped from China, but the, there are a lot that are held in a warehouse in the UK. Um, and when you order it, the, the, like the, the seller just notifies the company and they send you one out. Um, but they vary in prices from £22 up to, I think I've seen them as, as high as £30, £32, £33. Uh, and all it is, it's a little plastic cover with, um, they look like two small computer fans inside. Um, they are supposed to be mounted flat on a, on a vertical surface um, because if there's a slight angle, um, the opening at the bottom can cause a few problems. But... Uh, I installed it on the uh, the side of my Dakato. Obviously, what I did, um, I cut the hole out and I've um, packed it out, so it's out, out more or less straight. Um, but what I've done, I've made a slight modification to it, which I'll uh, just show you now. Right now, then, that's the fan. Obviously, the roof of my van slopes back, so I've cut the hole packed it out and uh, sealed round it with um, PU adhesive, similar to Sikaflex but the, uh, a little cheaper brand, does the same job though. It's uh, an adhesive and um, waterproof sealer. So I've packed it out but I don't know whether you can see but inside there the opening to the fan is right on the very bottom. So what I actually did um, I've made a little adapter for it. So what I actually did, this is a little bit of black plastic that I cut off the um, the plastic covers from the bottom of the B post where I, uh, I raised the floor. Um, so what I did, I cut a small strip, scribed it, bent it at a 90 degree angle, done the same on the other side. And then uh, push this inside and uh, glued it in place at a slight angle. So now, no water can actually run inside the van. Um, so this is mounted um, at an angle just inside, uh, leaning forward slightly. So when the fan blows out, it comes over. The, the air comes over the top and down through the bottom. So as you can see, I've just zoomed in, that's the little strip of plastic that I've just glued along there, it's like the bloody thing keeps going out of focus, glued along there, onto the side, inside there, and just inside there, and it, and it uh, slaps forward at an angle, so the air can still pass, show you, the air can still pass it, but it actually seals the bottom up a little bit. So I just used a little bit of a Evo stick and super glue and put a little bit of black silicon along the bottom. Uh, there you go, let's just zoom back out. There you can see it, the base, the bottom's flush. I ain't actually screwed it in yet. I'm just gonna, rather than build, put in a load of sealer in, I put sandwich in and then built it up. I've just got to look, put a little bit more on and uh, smooth it down 
and then I'll attach the screws. I'll just show you what it's like on the inside. Right, now, the actual cable that feeds the fan comes across here. I actually cut a larger hole for access in the, uh, the vapour barrier, but the cable runs through, runs in the back. I'll put some of the insulation back in, and as you can see, those are the two fans. Now what I did, there's a small piece of plywood, um, I, th I think it's a 12mm oh, ply, but I, but I had a spare line around, so I cut a small rectangular piece, cut a hole out in it for the fan, and I bonded this onto the van. Um, so when I drill through, the actual screws will go through the van and screw into the wood, holding it all secure. Now, what I will do, um, I've got some uh, plastic and I'll bond a piece of plastic underneath the bottom of the fan, down the sides, around the top, coming out into the shower compartment. And then when I actually put the, the plywood on, the plastic will come through creating a tunnel and then once I've put all the sandy clad on I'll cut it all off flush and then put a little vent cover over the um, the extractor fan. Now onto the uh, the shower tray. Now the shower tray that I purchased was fiberglass. Um, I didn't really fancy a, a little plastic one so I wanted something that's a little bit more heavy duty. I'm not exactly a small chap, uh, six foot and uh, sixteen and a half stone, so I didn't want anything that was um, brittle or going to break. So this is my shower tray. It's slightly wider here for access for the heater pipe to come through, but this one came with two holes for drainage. So what I've done. I'll just turn it over and show you. These are the uh, plug, the uh, drain outlets. So it comes with a rubber seal. Um, I'll put a little bit of uh, sealer on the seal first and pushed it into position and then fitted the um, drain outlet, put that on and screwed it all in place and just let the sealer go off and then I've gone all the way around the edge and uh, basically it's still you can dig your nail in it it's still flexible but basically it's sealed all the way around the side and I've done the same on this one I'm just going to put a little bit more around before I uh, drop it in I've also fitted a piece of uh, 5mm ply onto the um, the bottom of the shower tray um, and bonded that on and put some sealer all the way around the edge so as when mm, it's moved so when I'm actually in the shower and standing on it there's no there's no flex in the base. So that's that. Move across to the, uh, the hole in the floor. So just move my work boots out of the way. So there's the one hole going through the floor there, and the other one there for the shower tray. Right, the, uh, the drainage holes on the bottom of the uh, the plug holes are uh, inch and a quarter um, the reason I've gone that size is basically that's what I was told the uh, the chap that made the tank um, Sean from Barrett Tanks the uh, the inlet to the tank is into an inch and a quarter uh, for the inch and a quarter pipe so there'll be one piece connected there one piece connected there um, my tank's got three inlets on it, so um, my toilet 
has got a, a separator, uni diverter, and rather than having it going into the little um, bottle at the front, there's a pipe which will go through the floor, and that will link up to my um, waste tank, so that will be one. My sink is going over this side, so that will be two inlets. So this one, there's going to be a splitter, it's a little two-piece underneath, so this little pipe will be cut there, that will be connected onto the uh, the waste tank, and then the shower drainage holes on either side, it will be connected to this. Um, now the clips I use, I don't use Jubilee clips, I don't like them, I use these ones, they actually go around the pipe properly and when you clamp them up they actually pull up on the inside of the ridges and you get a better fit. Um, Jubilee clips, mm, no, I just don't like them. They're okay for flat pipe but when you're using this uh, convoluted piping always use the proper clips. Pay a little bit more but they are a lot better. Um, pipe work and these clips, best place to get them from. Garden centre that's got an aquatic department. Can't go wrong. Um, if you go into a caravan place, the convoluted pipe that they use for drainage is a lot thinner and, and basically it's it's like a, a plastic. Um, yeah. Any garden centre with a, an aquatic department or a, a water feature department, and you'll pick up the stuff for that. All right, I'm not very good at uh, you know, putting links in descriptions and stuff like that. So what I'll do, I'll take a screenshot of the actual fan that I purchased. I'll say it's on eBay, but um, I'll do a screenshot and put that in the video now. So. If you just uh, type that into the eBay search bar, um, I mean there are other ones out there, but they are they're a lot bigger. Um, so this it's just a small small fan, teen obtrusive. So I can uh, use it for if I want to use the uh, room as a drawing room because uh, once the shower is all built, there's actually um, a blower from my true and my boiler. I'm going to be blowing in there. So I'll be able to uh, close the door and get anything up if it's a bit damp and uh, put the extractor from fan on to uh, draw out any moisture. Right, if you've uh, enjoyed this video or if you've found it a little bit informative, just uh, click the like. If you've got any comments, uh, you want to know anything about the van, just um, drop me a comment and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks a lot guys, catch you on later.